Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook, My Marvel Superman Girlfriend. Chapter 31, Neon Shrouded Pedestrian Streets. A decaying human body fell on the floor tiles, causing passers-by who were watching and fled screaming. Whoosh. A black flash flickered, she was young and cleverly landed next to the remnant body, her vertical pupils were like burning bluish-white flames, and the body wrapped in dark black skin showed a sense of assembly line muscle. The venom said hoarsely in his mind, it has parasitized on another human nearby. Obviously, its strength is much stronger than the first symbiont, and it can choose almost any human as the symbiotic host. Which human? The black kitten is like the top terrifying hunter, and the cat's eyes coldly scan the passers-by who are fleeing away. Among these passers-by, there is no obvious appearance of being parasitized by symbionts. He quickly realized that the second symbiote wanted to escape here while taking advantage of the chaotic scene. Where is the symbiote? Xin Yan grinned, urging irritably. The instincts of the symbiosis and the metamorphosis beast are intertwined with the animal nature, and the human reason that is being drawn is on the verge of collapse. Violent, wild, indifferent and other inhuman evils invade the body and mind, which also causes Xin Yan's behavior style to become more and more crazy. Just like just now, Xin Yan tears and strangles together with the human host parasitized by the symbiont. Although he already knew that human beings could not be saved, and if he dragged on, he would kill more innocent people on the road. What he did was indeed the best solution at the time, but he did it without hesitation. The bloodthirsty and brutal behavior is far from the normal thinking when you are a human. Venom said, I can only perceive that it is within 30 meters, but there are too many humans nearby, more than a hundred people, and it is impossible to determine which human is parasitized. Its voice is more hoarse and sharper, like a demon whispering a suggestion, I think the best solution at the moment is to kill all the humans at the scene. Otherwise, once the opponent escapes, more people will die. Don't hesitation. Make a choice quickly, and the other party will run away in the crowd. Shut up for me. Xin Yan roared hoarsely, watching the humans fleeing everywhere, and suddenly inserted one of his paws into the ground below. Laugh. Along with the violent tremors of the entire pedestrian street, dozens of terrible cracks spread across the flat surface, centering on the black kitten-shaped Xinian. Then, with a range of 30 meters as the demarcation point, a bunch of hard tentacles shaped by black slime broke out of the ground, piercing straight up into the night sky of the city 10 meters above. Dozens of hard tentacles form a dense barbed railing, trapping all people within 30 meters. Dead. The scene was dead silent. I don't know how many people raised their eyes in horror, dominated by huge amounts of fear. At the same time, I also recalled the shame of being imprisoned in a birdcage cough cough, went to the wrong set. Find it for me. Xin Yan kept one paw stuck in the ground, body motionless, and the other paw turned into a tentacle to reach the people around. Monster, don't come over. Many people screamed and fell to the ground. But they soon discovered that the tentacles stretched out were soft, as if they had ordinary cat's claw pads. The tentacles just touched their shoulders or chest, and then quickly walked around, contacting and checking the people surrounded by the tentacles one by one. Xin Yan is searching for the human host of the second symbiote parasitic through touch. After all, the symbiote can parasitize silently. When there is no conscious control, even the host himself does not know that he has been parasitized. When Xin Yan checked more than half of the people, among the crowd, a middle-aged man standing back slightly wrinkled and touched his chest inexplicably. For some reason, his body surface was constantly bursting into cold sweat, which wet the inner lining and chilled. Obviously, after knowing that the tentacles will not hurt people, most of the fear has disappeared. Afraid, afraid, afraid to die. The parasitic lurking in the second symbiote of the middle-aged man, Knowing that the host of the venom is about to find him through the shared perspective of the man, he involuntarily trembled and horrified. Before that, it could not perceive the first symbiote, so it knew that the symbiote had been killed. After being discovered by Xin Yan, it kept switching its parasitic host to escape, and in the process of fleeing, it realized the power of the venom host more and more. The gap is too big. When their symbiosis exists alone, it is difficult to achieve even the most humble existence. After being parasitic on a suitable organism, it can exert a series of abilities such as body hardening, change, super strength, super speed, etc. 
These abilities are closely related to the physique of the parasitic host. But after so many human hosts have been rotated, the second symbiote found that the strength it can exert is far less than the performance of the venom host. How does it know? Xin Yen's current state does not only exert the ability effect of venom parasitism. Rather, it was superimposed. After being parasitized by the venom, he parasitized on the elemental beast with the nature of a symbiotic body. The effect is not as simple as 1 plus 1. The symbiote boss, it's impossible to come and save me, I'm going to die, I'm going to die here. The second symbiote was irritated in the middle-aged man's body, and Xin Yen's tentacles had been screened not far in front of him. It is about to find out the host it is currently parasitizing. How to do, how to do, how to do, death is approaching. The second symbiote was desperate, but at this moment, it seemed to sense something. The parasitic middle-aged man turned his head and looked at the two in the crowd inexplicably. It was a woman in her early thirties who was pulling a boy about ten years old. Although the woman herself was terrified, she still comforted the child in a low voice, Peter, it's okay, don't worry. With Aunt May here, you will definitely be protected. Peter nodded, looking at the scary black kitten with some fear, and then plucked up the courage to stand in front of Aunt May's body. Suddenly, his cold hair stood upright, and his side eyes met the hollow gaze of the middle-aged man. As if staring at the abyss of evil, Peter turned pale with fright, stretched out his fingers subconsciously, and blurted out, the monster the black kitten is looking for, it's him. Peter, what are you talking about? Aunt May was stunned. What are you talking about, I'm not a monster. The middle-aged man also felt a bit weird and couldn't help but retort, but suddenly, his eyes widened in horror, and a cloud of grey-green viscous liquid opened from him. Gushing out of his mouth. Half of the liquid is still in the man's body, and the other half is suspended in the air, seemingly squirming with vital signs. The weird scene that subverted cognition has suppressed everyone around him, standing still and unable to move. I found you. The three-in-one Shinian killing was extremely resolute. At the moment when the second symbiote was exposed, the elongated tentacles immediately turned into tentacles, hardened, and slammed forward. Through the air, the tentacles penetrate the body of the gray-green symbiosis like a nail, nailing it to the tentacles railing behind. Z sizzle. The second symbiosis boiled violently, suddenly separating the nailed part, and the other part of the liquid body was like a jet of water gun, and like a gray-green net, rushing towards the woman not far from the side. Aunt May, be careful. Peter opened his hands to block in front of Aunt May, so the gray-green liquid penetrated into his body extremely smoothly. Ah, the immature cry of pain resounded in the night sky of New York City, reaching far away. The next second his body was parasitized by the symbiont, the boy covered his head with his hands, his eyes were covered with a grey-green color, and he knelt on the ground in extreme pain. Get away from him. Someone yelled this in horror, and people immediately backed away in a panic. Focusing on the boy parasitized by the weird monster, everyone except Aunt May evacuated 10 meters away. Peter, are you okay? Don't scare Aunt May. On the empty field, Aunt May was both scared and worried. She reached out to support the kneeling boy, but she couldn't pull the young body with her strength. As for the boy who was kneeling on the ground, looking down, unable to see his face, and holding his hands on the ground, his own pain and physical struggling behavior became weaker, and the whole tended to be inexplicably calm. This calm, on the contrary, makes people nearby shudder. Twenty meters away, changed a boy as the new host. Seeing the second symbiote's choice of jumping over the wall, the three-in-one Shinian felt a little surprised, but did not stop her decisive and indifferent offensive. Bomb. The sharp and hardened dark tentacles pierced the air and pierced the boy Peter who was parasitized by the second symbiote. At this time, the voice of Venom sounded in his mind, not quite right. I can faintly perceive that the physique of that human child is different from that of ordinary humans. As if following the words spoken by the symbiont Venom, at the moment when the tentacles were about to hit, a small hand of the boy lifted up like lightning, and actually grasped the tentacles of the high-speed sniper firmly. The tips of the dark hardened tentacles stopped abruptly, stopping about a centimeter in front of Peter's chest. Gia Gia. A hoarse and cold voice rang out, and the boy holding the tentacles made an inhuman grin. The surface of his body began to seep into the gray-green viscous liquid. 
These viscous liquids quickly expanded, twisted, shape shifted, hardened, shaping a more complete and tough gray green colony body and cortex. The whole scene looks like Peter's body is deformed in adulthood, becoming a gray green alien monster nearly two meters tall. Gray green, tall, and the sense of strength that can be seen from strong muscles. This time reminded Xi Nian of hatred. However, there is still a big difference from the appearance of hatred. At the moment, the second symbiote parasitizes the boy's appearance, with a healthy body contour but not bloated. The arms and legs have a sense of toughness and slenderness. In particular, there is a pale poisonous spider pattern on the chest and back. Unexpectedly, there will be such a powerful physique in humans. Looking down at the gray-green palms that held the grip, the poisonous spider grinned grinningly, grinning and spitting out a long scarlet tongue, a rush of heat emerged from the strong deformed body. After parasitizing the human child Peter, the ability, as a symbiote, was presented to the greatest extent for the first time. It feels that its current self is stronger than ever before. Facts have proved that it is true. The poisonous spider just tried it, and easily accepted the tentacles attack initiated by the venom host. That was the terrible attack that he could not resist at all. This makes it feel more stable. It's okay again. With this body as the host of the parasite, I am the real boss of the symbiote. The poisonous spider was extremely excited and licked its sharp and ugly fangs. Peter, Peter. The woman's miserable and trembling voice came from the side. You're not Peter. Aunt May looked at the poisonous spider nearby, holding back her fear and not moving back, sobbing, Monster, give me Peter back. Gia Gia, I will kill you first, and then kill all the venom and his parasitic host. The poisonous spider gave a grim sneer, raised his gray-green palm, roar, and patted the woman's crying face. At this moment, a hoarse and cold voice suddenly sounded in front of him, isn't you enough? Um, the poisonous spider's palm had not been completely photographed, and he was surprised to find that the tentacles that had been holding it suddenly buckled its palm hand in hand, but not friendly and wonderful. At that moment, the poisonous spider only felt an indescribable terrible force, which was transmitted from the dark tentacles truly and unmistakably, and forcibly pulled its entire strengthened body over. Xin Yen's stretched tentacles dragged the poisonous spider up and threw it up, nearly 30 meters above the sky, and once again slammed down to the ground below. Bang! The earthquake trembles and screams. The poisonous spider smashed into the ground, the rubble splashed and smashed a pit several meters deep in the street ground. The poisonous spider covered in soil roared angrily from the pit, flipped his wrist, and shot two gray-green spider sticky silks, which were fixed on the tentacles behind Xin Yan. Pulling cobweb fiercely, the poisonous spider slid a shovel in the low altitude very fast, kicking it violently towards Xin Yan. The black kitten was still squatting on the ground motionlessly. With one hand still inserted into the ground to form a tentacled railing, the cat's tail behind him twitched sharply. The air bursts. Hearing a, pop, soon, the poisonous spider flew out like a fly. How is this possible? The body came into close contact with the ground again, and the poisonous spider was completely stunned. Why? Obviously it has become stronger by more than many times. In terms of power, speed, shapeshifting and other super abilities, it is still inferior to the host of venom parasites. Or, in the symbiosis form of the human boy parasitizing the current spider ability physique, the second symbiosis can better appreciate the terrifying power of the trinity. Who is the monster? The poisonous spider jumped quickly, and the spider cobweb shot towards the tall building in the distance. Seeing that he couldn't beat Xin Yan, he wanted to continue to implement his strategy escape. But the speed of the dark tentacles is faster than it. The tentacles wrapped around the poisonous spider's feet very quickly, and the more impatient and violent Xin Yan, dragged it between the night sky and the earth, tossing and smashing again and again. Bang, 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 I don't know how many poisonous spiders have been thrown. Only then did Xin Yan calmly let go of the tentacles, and in front of it, it was already full of potholes. The dust fell. The poisonous spider lying in one of the potholes was lying on the ground, and most of its armed body had melted, like a damaged vehicle, flowing with green oil on the ground, unable to maintain a complete armed combat posture. The scene can only be described by one word tragic. Is its parasitic host still saved? Xin Yan asked in a cold voice, barely maintaining a trace of rationality. 
Venom's demonic whisper sounded, it's hard to tell. The boy's physique is indeed special, but he is too young to see if he can regain the dominance of his body. It grinned grinningly, my suggestion is, don't delay, just kill the host directly. Xi Nian did not speak, and the tentacles began to turn into a giant sickle, hanging above the poisonous spider's head. There is not much human reason left, and the three in one he is more bloodthirsty and indifferent. The invincible and terrifying kitten is like the incarnation of death god, hanging a black sickle on the head of a poisonous spider. Xi Nian had already clearly proved one thing when he was confronted with the first symbiote. Even if the symbiote can quickly repair the host's injury, there are certain limits. Once the parasitic host suffers damage in a short period of time that far exceeds the speed of repair, the symbiote cannot maintain the host's life state and can only be forced to leave. But in this way, obviously, its parasitic host will also die. Please, don't kill him. Aunt May rushed to the front of the poisonous spider, opened her arms, and blocked the black sickle with her thin body. At the moment, the three-in-one Shinian where reason is collapsing, she can no longer listen to her words, and will only resolutely carry out what she thinks is right. Even if everything I am doing now seems to be a villain. It's just a matter of time. Boom. One side of the tentacle railing was blasted through by two laser beams. Under the surprise eyes of the people trapped inside, a figure dressed in a gold-red steel battle suit fell from the sky. Kang Dang. The left knee and the right fist touched the ground at the same time, making a dull metal sound. The existence like a man-made steel god stood up, and the palm of his raised hand was in the middle of the engine mouth, accumulating a dazzling white light that shocked the scene. Tonight, your place is really lively. Ignoring the atmosphere of the scene, Iron Man teased in a cheerful tone. It's Iron Man. Iron Man is here, we are saved. Very good. Immediately dispelled the fear and despair that had shrouded the present, and became the backbone of the trapped crowd at the scene. In the city of New York, probably only Iron Man can do it. This is not a live fan reception. Iron Man continued to tease. Ladies and gentlemen, can you please leave here first? Under his words, the people reacted immediately and left the barricade of the tentacles that broke behind Iron Man. From appearance to the present, Iron Man has been relaxed and natural, as if he had grasped the overall situation of the scene. However, what no one knows is. At this moment, inside the steel battle suit, she Stark's face is dignified and nervous, staring at the harmless black kitten on the field, and whispering, J-A-R-V-I-S, can you tell what kind of creature the opponent is? Sorry, sir. There is no information in the database. Scanning cannot detect the opponent's body. It can only be preliminarily judged to be an alien organism. Two unknown alien creatures are fighting with each other. She Stark kept his hands facing the enemy, glanced at the poisonous spider lying behind the woman, and could easily make a judgment based on the traces on the scene. At this time, the black kitten's paw that had been stuck on the ground moved. Iron Man was shocked, thinking that the other party wanted to kill the people who were evacuating, and couldn't help firing a laser cannon. The bright daylight laser made the street suddenly shine, and in the blink of an eye, it bombarded the black kitten's head. Boom. The scorching energy and fire flushed the young body, and Xi Nian retracted the paw that was inserted on the ground. Now that the symbiote has been found, there is no need for the tentacles railing. Iron Man, who blasted its forehead without a word, made him a little bit on top. If you take Xi Nian's normal thinking, it is a misunderstanding if it is uncertain. But now is the year of the Trinity. It was the year when human reason almost ceased to exist. He is a violent, bloodthirsty, wild, extreme, and wicked year. Then, while the devastating laser energy ripples washed along the surface of the dark body, the black cat Xi Nian turned into a black streamer, breaking through the sound barrier, and hitting Iron Man's lower abdomen hard. Bang! Iron Man felt like he was hit by a reduced version of the truck at full speed. The artificial intelligence Jarvis immediately issued a warning feedback of, parts damaged. The steel body was hit by huge amounts of impact on the exterior wall of a tall building behind him. Fire me. The steel battle suit plunged deep into the wall, and she Stark became angry and snarled. Suddenly, the strategic weapon device hidden on the shoulder of the steel battle suit was activated, and four miniature missiles dragged the tail flame towards the black kitten. Xin Yan was stuck in the air, looking at the miniature missile that flight came over, 
and suddenly opened her mouth violently to three or four times the size of her body, as if a blood plate bite the oncoming miniature missile. Treat it as a candy in your mouth. The miniature missiles detonated all in the mouth, only making Xi Nian's face bulge a few times, and soon he relaxed again. It hiccups, and spit out a few laps of gunpowder-flavored gunpowder smoke. Quote dot 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 quote. Xi Stark looked incredulously. He finally knew why Dr. Banner wanted to become Hulk in an emergency just now. This cat, it is a monster that is truly beyond common sense and unscientific. She Stark gritted his teeth and flew up on the engine of the steel battle suit, launching missiles and engine lasers with full firepower and power. At this moment, it was like the most gorgeous firework. The Iron Man hovering over tens of meters in the sky is completely transformed into a human-shaped fort, and everything on the body is shining brightly. When the artificial intelligence immediately completes the command, the miniature missiles and laser beams are densely intertwined with the package of Xin Yan. Xin Yan grinned like a demon, black heart and claws on both hands, and a tail that turned into a slender tentacle, slapped together at high speed and continuously. Shoot small missiles like mosquitoes. Boom boom boom. The targeted blasting of missiles and lasers blasted the air, and the terrible shockwave swept away, shattering all the glass windows on both sides of the street. Suddenly, one of the small missiles deviated from the trajectory crookedly and bombarded Aunt May who was still on the scene. Not good. Iron Man saw this scene, but it was too late to stop it. Aunt May opened her eyes wide in horror. Seeing that the small missile was about to fall on her, the poisonous spider that collapsed on the ground suddenly turned over. The poisonous spider overwhelmed Aunt May to the ground, and the gray-green deformed body acted as a human shield, blocking the impact of the explosion of the small missile. In the surging firelight, the poisonous spider melted half of the head of the armed liquid, slightly revealing a corner of Peter's tender and green face, and a drop of tears that could be called human nature dripped down on Aunt May's face. This is, in the center of the explosion that was enough to blast a whole building into ruins, Xin Yan, wrapped in black skin, was unscathed, and he was still thinking about observing the poisonous spiders below. Venom was also a little surprised and cried out strangely, the human boy has actually taken back some of the dominance. But it is estimated to be only temporary. Soon, the symbiote in his body will completely take the dominance. You mean, is he still saved? Xin Yan's eyes returned to a trace of clarity, and the broken rational heartstrings were connected again. Venom responded, Now, as long as there is a way to separate him from the symbiont, he can survive. I see. Xin Yan glanced at the poisonous spider below, and then at the Iron Man above, a flash of light suddenly flashed in his mind. His two claws suddenly stretched out and ejected, entangled Iron Man's feet and hands respectively. Quote question mark quote. A question mark was popping out of Iron Man's mind, and then he was violently pulled down until his body sank into a dark hole. Xin Yan closed her mouth and fell back to the ground lightly. The streets were filled with smoke, and Iron Man had been completely lost. This is the best proposal from the elemental eater that he parasitizes. Silence. Deathly silence. On the streets of Queens. Seeing the three-in-one Xin Yan landed on the ground alone, many passers-by who used their mobile phones to shoot videos, or media reporters who were broadcasting online, were all dumbfounded like a sculpture of a wooden figure. They opened their mouths in horror, and a cold air that was far more icy than the current winter frost and snow surged from their backs. That one and a half years after his debut as a superhero, he became a well-deserved brother in New York. He deterred the world with the light of technology across the centuries. Iron Man Tony Shi Stark. Now, swallowed by an unknown monster. Just like in the true sense, witnessing the omnipotent god being killed, there is a feeling of a collapse of faith. Tonight is destined to be a desperate night for countless people in New York City. Shinian, the culprit on the court, didn't think so much. He just felt that Iron Man's interference was too troublesome and it greatly affected the action against the hunting symbiote, so he simply dropped the other party ban. Fall back to the ground. Xin Yan took steps and came behind the poisonous spider who was protecting Aunt May with her body. Although it looks a little bigger than an adult slap, it is harmless to humans and animals and a little cute, but at the moment, the poisonous spider dominated by Peter's consciousness understands how terrifying the unknown creature in the shape of a black kitten is. The Existence of Solutions
Sensing that Xin Yan was approaching near its body, the poisonous spider's gray-green hands propped on the ground, and his knees were also on the ground, revealing Peter's inner face with twisted brows, and intermittently said in pain, Kill me. Quote. Please, kill me. I'm almost out of control. At the same time, the gray-green viscous liquid on its body began to squirm, like a decadent and evil silt, a little bit of erosion covered the boy's exposed face. No, Peter. Aunt May burst into tears below, reaching out to peel the gray-green liquid from the poisonous spider's face, but it didn't help. It seemed that Peter was about to be re-wrapped by the reproductive arms of the symbiont. The three-in-one Xin Yen nodded indifferently, and raised the cat's paw, then, as you wish. Giggle. The bones were creaking, and Xin Yen's elongated and enlarged claws clamped the poisonous spider's hands from behind, and lifted its body upwards. The dark black tail was like a tentacles that bound the poisonous spider's feet forward. Did not respond to Aunt May who was crying nearby. The mouth corners on both sides of the black kitten split exaggeratedly, far beyond the outline of the face, and turned into a large mouth with interlaced fangs. Venom smiled in his mind, it should have been this way, just swallow it. Xin Yen did not pay attention to his words, but inexplicably said, just bear with me a little bit. Huh. The venom parasitic in Xin Yen's body was stunned, and suddenly there was an extremely ominous premonition. Wait a minute, what do you want to do? Xin Yen didn't swallow the poisonous spider into the dimension of Bite Yuan, but took a deep breath. The breath was so big that the chest area quickly expanded like a balloon. In a short while, his body swelled about five or six times larger than before. Venom understood Xin Yen's thoughts, and immediately roared, You are crazy. Stop. Stop immediately. Xin Yen ignored it, and it was impossible to stop. He raised the poisonous spider above his head and brewed for a while, then his jaw was lifted up. Xin Yen's mouth was aimed at the poisonous spider, and suddenly opened. Next second, people in a radius of five miles covered their ears subconsciously, and countless glass windows, car windows, and light bulbs burst. Hold head high. A terrifying and high-pitched sound roared from the mouth. Xin Yan was like an ancient monster roaring up to the sky, and the sound waves were like layers of tides, roaring and cracking in the nearby air. The sound waves are turned into actual sound waves, with unspeakable impact. If it were not spreading towards the night sky, the earth would have to be peeled off abruptly. Directly roared out the ultrasound. This terrible and powerful scene made a figure emerge in the minds of many people. That is, the god of the world in the metropolis, Superman. Z sizzle. The poisonous spiders were subjected to the washing and baptism of ultrasonic waves, and their tough colonies burst immediately, like boiling water in a hot pot. Laugh. The strands of gray-green mucus peeled off from the poisonous spider. Under the impact of ultrasound, the second symbiote began to be forced to split with the host Peter. Definitely, it's not just the second symbiote that was hit by ultrasound. What are you doing? Stop it quickly, so that you will also unlock the symbiosis state. Venom wailed in an extremely painful voice, never expected Xin Yan would use this to hurt the enemy a thousand and eight. Hundreds of means. With only one symbiote parasitizing human beings, it is absolutely impossible to generate ultrasound by roaring alone, and this can only be done in the triad state of superimposed element chewing beasts. Wait, what's going on? The Venom, who had begun to disintegrate, quickly realized that the ultrasound had not had any effect on Xin Yan's body. Xin Yan, who returned to the human rationality, smiled and responded truthfully with his thoughts. I just got your ability, but I didn't inherit the corresponding weakness. So you have noticed it. Venom suddenly realized. From the very beginning, Xin Yan did not intend to deal with only the second symbiote, but included it. Xin Yan, you fool. The venom hadn't finished speaking, the liquefied body had been forced to separate from Xin Yan, out of symbiosis. However, because Xin Yan was parasitic on the elemental eater, the venom was also directly stuck in the body of the elemental eater. And because two symbionts cannot exist on the same host at the same time, in the case of Xin Yan's, symbiont, being extremely strong and without ultrasound weakness, the venom does not have any power to snatch the host's authority, and can only be forced to bite the element. The beast ushered in dormancy. Breaking out of the state of Trinity, Xin Yan is alone as a symbiote with the ability nature, and continues to remain parasitic on the elemental devouring beast. 
In my mind, those evil and negative thoughts that affect oneself were swept away. Only the, meow meow, of the bitter beast applauded. Xin Yen breathed a sigh of relief, already recovering all the sanity of a human being. Thinking back to the state just now, he still felt a palpitation. In the state of three in one, ability is indeed unimaginably powerful. But in that state, thinking and behavior will become more extreme and evil, until it becomes a monster purely pursuing killing. Symbiote Venom is very cooperative on the surface, but in fact it has been guiding him to the abyss of reason, wanting to snatch the dominance of this body. Symbiote Venom falls into a halt-like hibernation. Xin Yan was parasitic on the elemental devouring beast, and the overall appearance was still a black kitten, but the lower abdomen had no white lines, and the cold and evil aura on his body disappeared, more like an ordinary kitten. Xin Yan raised his eyes and looked at the second symbiote separated from Peter. He did not hesitation, opened his mouth again, this time his mouth turned into a bottomless black hole, swallowing the second symbiote who wanted to escape. Biting Yuan, exile, in an unknown and mysterious space. There is darkness everywhere here, up and down, endless darkness, which continues to the end without boundaries. It is like a corner of the outer space universe, but there is no starlight. Iron Man wandered in this space at extremely fast flight, like a steel ghost, the energy in the chest and the glaring white light of the engine broke through the fog, dragging a clear light white tail flame trajectory. No matter how he flew, he couldn't reach a place where he could land. J-A-R-V-I-S, answer me, J-A-R-V-I-S. Stark, the inner history of the steel battle suit, called Roar repeatedly for the fifth time. However, as always, there was no response. From the moment he entered here, she Stark disconnected from the artificial intelligence JARVIS and the network signal displayed as. Without, it stands to reason that she Stark uses its own industry specific satellite signals. As long as it is in any corner of the Earth, there should be no such bizarre situation of disconnection. Could it be that this place is really no longer on Earth? She Stark was flustered for no reason, even if he was imprisoned in a cave by criminals before becoming Iron Man, he had never been so flustered. Because if this is not the Earth, then he will have nothing to do. There is no possibility of self-help or return to Earth. What is that? At this moment, she Stark suddenly saw an object floating in the dark ahead and couldn't help but rely on the engine of the steel battle suit to move closer. Take a closer look. She Stark was stunned, it turned out to be several corpses. Several corpses have existed in this space for a long time. The human-shaped flesh has long been rotten and exposed white bones, wearing an aerospace uniform of an unknown civilization, and a peculiar laser gun on the chest. These corpses also have the structure of the tail or wings. She Stark's eyelids twitched, and there was an uproar in his heart. It's the corpse of an alien. In the hotel. The light had gone out, and the room was dark and quiet, with only a few wisps of silver falling on the window sill. Kayla, who was lying on the bed, opened her eyes suddenly, and turned slightly to look out of the window sill. Is it an illusion? She seemed to hear a low roar of an unknown creature just now, coming from the other side of New York City, with a very strong sense of evil in the roar. The super hearing of Kryptonians is just such a bad thing. Sometimes, information that you don't want to hear will flood into your ears. As a result, Kayla woke up in her sleep and often suspected that she had auditory hallucinations and could not distinguish whether the sound she heard was real or just a dream. In terms of ability, she is nowhere near as good as her cousin Carl. After all, as a superman, Carl has fully brought out the Kryptonian super ability, and can be easily retracted and retracted. And she, in order to adapt to the human world, has always hidden her Kryptonian ability. If, the roar just now is true. Senior, nothing will happen, right? Kayla thought of this in her heart and was about to get up. But at this moment, from the side of the bed, the girl's hands and feet suddenly rested on her body. Kayla stiffened and looked back. It was Gwen who had already fallen asleep, just turned over and took Kayla as a doll pillow by the way. When Gwen fell asleep, his sleeping posture was far from the intellectual grace when he woke up, and even a little casual. The quilt on her body has been lifted, and her dress is messy, revealing the girl's white belly. Kayla sighed inexplicably, and reached out to cover Gwen with the quilt. Gwen didn't know what dream he was dreaming. He held Kayla as his own doll and muttered with a sweet smile, Shinian. 
Senior sister, you are truly shameless. Kayla frowned slightly and couldn't help but spit out. She looked at the window sill and finally chose to close her eyes. After all, even if the low roar was real, it was too far away from the current streets of Queens. No matter what, it's impossible for Senior Guan Xinian to do anything, right? Dispose of the second symbiote. Xin Yen put the unconscious Peter on the ground. Aunt May, the woman with some buzzing ears, immediately rushed forward and took Peter into her arms. He's okay. Xin Yen dropped this sentence, and the black cat's body leapt forward and stepped on the street lamp pole in the outer wall of the building. His several dexterous vertical leaps and bounces, although the speed was far lower than the previous three in one, they still disappeared in the street very quickly. The last symbiote remains, and it is also the leader of the symbiont. If you don't deal with it, it's not the end. From the venom of the symbiont just now, Xin Yan had already obtained the location of the last symbiont. Tonight, the position of the symbiote has always been fixed in one place and never moved. Five minutes later, Bronx, Drake Biology Research Base Factory. When Xin Yan, who was living in symbiosis with the elemental devouring beast, rushed to the entrance of the factory, he felt the ground trembling violently in the area. The faintly flickering vertical pupil cat's eye lifted up, and I saw the base factory in the closed state deep, accompanied by the flame at the tail end like a volcano erupting continuously, an aerospace ship is in the launching state. The third symbiote, the leader of the symbiote who descended on the earth, wanted to drive away. At the moment, inside the spacecraft, Dr. Drake, the founder of Drake Biology, is alone in the console of the spacecraft. His eyes and neck are filled with blackness, which is the host of the last symbiote parasitic. As for why he left the Earth in the spacecraft now, naturally, one has perceived the passing of the first and second symbiote, and in news reports, I saw the powerful power of the Trinity in hopes of showing up. No matter how arrogant the symbiote boss is, he still thinks he can't defeat Xin Yan. It is very clear in my heart that the next person the other party will hunt is itself, and it can only escape from the earth. What kind of monster is the venom parasitizing, so powerful? Dr. Drake's expression was distorted, and he was scared to flee the planet. This would be his life's shame. Wait for me, I will definitely be back. Dr. Drake roared in his heart, still calm on the surface, manipulating and adjusting the launch flight on the spacecraft. The spacecraft keeps jetting off and is about to rise to an altitude of 100 meters. Can be abrupt. The ascending spacecraft trembled inexplicably, as if hit hard by something. He's here. Dr. Drake's face changed drastically. Outside the spacecraft, the black kitten is like a small thumbtack, fixed on the coated shell of the spacecraft. Since it's here, don't go. Xin Yan opened his mouth wide and stretched out eight hideous tentacles full of small teeth. Under the protection and armed of the dark colony of the symbiont, these tentacles are more tenacious and powerful, as in the legend. The eight claws of the kraken monster. Click. The tentacles and claws danced frantically, and violently slammed on the spacecraft. The metal shell was immediately dented and damaged, and sparks were sparked by the sparking electric light. No. Don't. In the spacecraft cabin, Dr. Drake yelled frantically, with a sense of despair and suffocation in the spacecraft before he appeared on the stage. If at the moment the third symbiotic body knew, Xin Yan was no longer the previous triad, but just a form of symbiosis with the elemental eater alone. If it chooses to fight head on, it is difficult to say which one will win and which one will lose, and I don't know how it will feel. However, it is only if it is. What greeted the third symbiote was the raging high temperature flames in the enclosed cabin. Boom boom boom. The spacecraft that rose to 500 meters exploded everywhere and turned into a huge burning fireball. The huge amounts of explosion also submerged the inner part, the sharp roar of the symbiote named Riot. Inside the biological research base factory. In a closed and locked office building, a man was looking through the dark archives with the faint light of a flashlight. Eddie Bullock was originally a well-known local reporter in New York. Some time ago, he accidentally discovered that the Drake Biological Foundation was conducting inhumane human experiments, and it also involved mysterious and unknown alien creatures, intending to cultivate a more high-level strategic creature. Eddie originally wanted to publish the huge amounts of conspiracy to the public, but was fired by the media company instead. 
In desperation, he could only sneak into the biological research base to search for and investigate evidence about human experiments and alien creatures. Yes, that's it. Eddie was violent, and pulled out a document from the safe, and immediately picked up the flashlight in his mouth to read it. Alien symbiote. Venom. Riot. A liquid life form. Parasitize with a suitable human host, can show extraordinary power. Of the five human experimental subjects, only one succeeded in coexisting with its symbiote. Eddie became more frightened as he watched, and hurriedly folded these materials into the inner pocket of his jacket. Just when he was about to leave here, the entire office building where it was trembling violently, the internal lamps, tables, and cabinets shook, and the dust kept shaking off from the ceiling on the top. What's the matter? Eddie was surprised. He looked out of the office window and could see that the spacecraft of the base factory was starting to launch. Rumble. Immediately afterwards, the spacecraft, which was about to pierce the night sky and rush out of the earth, exploded violently at an altitude of several hundred meters, and the orange-red fire illuminates the huge base below. Eddie witnessed all this in shock, and under his professional habit, he did not forget to take out a small camera to record this scene. Countless fragments of spacecraft carrying open flames and dense smoke, like meteorites outside the sky, crashed across the night sky of the city to the base. In the shooting lens of the camera, falling together with the wreckage of the spacecraft, under the light of the fire, a small black beast shadow flashed past. Inside the mysterious dimensional space. Insufficient energy. Repeat the warning, energy is severely insufficient. The light on Iron Man's chest and eye sockets dimmed, and he could only keep the battle suit engine running at extremely low power, allowing himself to stagnate in the middle of the space where there were floating alien corpses. The only white light, which is uncertain, is about to sink into darkness. Are you going to die in this unknown ghost place? She Stark smiled bitterly at the corner of his mouth, and was lost in it. He found that there were so many alien creatures buried in it. Moreover, the clothes and weapons on these corpses are not the same. This actually verifies She Stark's all-time guess that beyond the Earth, there are obviously more complex and densely developed alien civilizations. The establishment of Avengers is the right path for the future. Unfortunately, it is useless to know this in advance now. She Stark feels helpless, his energy is about to run out, which means that this place will also be his burial place. Thinking of this, She Stark was calmer, and whispered, turn on the built-in camera to archive personal videos. Iron Man's helmet glowed inside, reflecting She Stark's tired face, leave it to Pepper, Virginia Pepper pause. When you see this, I should be dead. Living in such an era of alien invasions and raging mutations, accidents do not know which day will come early. Maybe I should have been mentally prepared for a long time like I was in New York last moment, and now, suddenly trapped in such a place where I cannot escape. I tried my best, really. But you need to know. I am not leaving this to complain. I just want to tell you that I actually love you. Quote. Falling straight down to the ground of the factory from a height of 100 meters, rubble splashed everywhere, and Xi Yen stepped out of a depression in the ground below. Alongside, the remains and fragments of the spacecraft were also smashed onto the factory building, causing a raging fire. Xi Yen did not relax his vigilance, and carefully looked outside to confirm that the third symbiote was really dead, which was a little relieved. Disposing of the third and last symbiote is much easier than imagined. It was also because the symbiote riots had to die and wanted to escape in a spacecraft. Instead, they trapped themselves in the enclosed spacecraft cabin and burned to death with extreme suffocation. Definitely. If Zillion is a step late and let the other party escape from the Earth in a spacecraft, that will be a different result again. Now, all three symbionts are dead, and the venom of the symbiont is dormant in the body of the metaphagus beast. It's over. Xi Yen kicked the cat's claws, her body speeded up suddenly, and the small figure jumped over the base factory railing. Head back to Queen Street at Gwen and Kayla Accommodation Hotel. Only halfway through, Xi Yen, who was parasitizing the elemental devouring beast, suddenly remembered one thing, a very important thing. By the way, I almost forgot. Xi Yen didn't stop, and while flying over the tall buildings, the kitten's mouth opened fiercely, and he spits into the block below. Who? Suddenly, a golden and red steel body spit out from his mouth and fell into a free fall. 
Xin Yen didn't stop, and disappeared into the night of the city in an accelerated sprint. Kang Dang. The dull metal sound of touching the ground sounded, and Iron Man was covered with viscous saliva, sitting blankly in the middle of the street. What happened? She Stark was still a little dizzy. What caught his eyes was naturally the familiar and prosperous modern streets of New York, with busy traffic everywhere, and some Christmas songs began to sound in the streets. Seeing more and more people coming around, some people started to take pictures. She Stark was silent for a moment, not having the fluke of the rest of his life, but trying to swear. WTF. Last words, recorded in vain. Not long after he left in Xin Yen. Inside the office building of the biological base factory. Eddie looked at the flames that had spread to most of the factory outside, and fled out in a panic. As a result, he accidentally kicked and bumped into a chair, causing him to fall heavily on the floor of the office. The bruised palm was blazing hot, and Eddie struggled to get up again after eating pain, but at this moment, a cold feeling came from one end of his palm. It seemed that something had penetrated through his wounds. Eddie, who got up, looked at the palm of his hand subconsciously. It seems that the palm of the hand just now wasn't scratched. The fire is about to reach the office building where it is located. Eddie didn't think too much, and hurriedly pushed open the door to escape. In the early morning, it snowed in New York, which added a lot of romance to this economy. Today is also the annual Christmas, Christmas tree decorations can be seen everywhere on the streets, and holiday songs are floating over the streets and lanes. Sheenian, Merry Christmas. Senior, Good Morning. Two young and beautiful girls with different styles, one wearing a red elk little red cap, and a light Christmas silver bell dangling from the wrist, were all small gifts Xinyan bought in advance yesterday. They stepped on the white snow on the street side by side and appeared, undoubtedly becoming the most beautiful scenery on the pedestrian street. Merry Christmas and good morning. Xin Yen carried his school bag, waved in response, and couldn't help yawning sleepily. In the backpack, the little emperor of the Yuan Chewing Beast is also lying on the pile of clothes, Roar Roar is asleep. Xin Yen, why did you go last night? Gwen asked curiously, looking at Xin Yen's obvious dark circles. Xin Yen rubbed his messy black hair, and replied weakly, I am forced to save the world. Liar. Gwen spit out angrily. Xin Yen shrugged, and he knew that Gwen would treat this as a joke. Did you sleep well? Kayla said warmly. Yes. Xin Yen nodded, following Kayla's words, I'm not used to hotel beds. Xin Yen himself remembers the physique of the bed. If he suddenly changes to a bed, he will indeed be unable to sleep. Well, except for my aunt's bed. What's more, he didn't have a bed at all last night, just like a stray cat slept in a tree, it was hard not to be sleepy. Fortunately, the time for symbiosis ability is over, otherwise they would not be able to reunite with Gwen and the others in a human-shaped state. Xin Yen sighed secretly, is it easy for him? After Xin Yen gathered with Gwen and Kayla, the three continued to stroll around the morning market, and after a simple lunch, they embarked on the way back to Washington. On the train car leaving New York, Gwen and Kayla looked through their mobile phones and newspapers and began to learn about the sporadic information that took place in New York City last night. Iron Man was eaten alive. Afraid. What is that gray-green liquid monster? It's disgusting. The words discussed by the two women were still a bit normal, but they quickly turned crooked. Wow, the black kitten is so cute. I really want to hug it. It's amazing. Seeing that Gwen and Kayla were not afraid, but like the look of the black kitten, Xin Yen blinked and said, I think that cat looks a bit like a little emperor. Um, when Gwen and Kayla heard this, they all looked at the orange kitten lying on Xin Yen's lap. In fact, the first moment they saw the black kitten, they really felt like the little emperor Xin Yen brought with them. However, after hearing Xin Yen's mention for the first time, they felt that Xiao Huang was very different from the black kitten. There are obvious differences in appearance, coat color, and even aura. In particular, the presence of black kittens in news reports poses a subtle threat to Kayla herself, but the current little emperor, in her opinion, even special alien creatures, is far from a threat. Seeing Kayla shook his head, Gwen smiled and retorted, Little emperor, it's different from that black kitten. Yes, Xin Yen nodded in response, secretly relieved. This level has also passed. However, look at the black kitten, how come I have an inexplicable sense of familiarity? Gwen muttered suspiciously. Me too. 
Kayla stroked her platinum gleaming hair in the sun, and a look of doubt flashed in her beautiful eyes, it looks like I've seen it somewhere. Is this the sixth sense of the legendary woman? How could I have seen it? It's so dangerous and terrifying, but even Iron Man has eaten it. Xin Yan quickly slopped his eyes and led the topic to other places. No matter how. After the topic of the superhero silver-haired goddess detonated the entire network, after today, the mysterious creature Black Kitten will also become a nightmare for many people. For example, a billionaire, a playboy, wakes up from his sleep from time to time, dreaming that he is being swallowed into an unknown space again. This also led to the future history of the Stark industry overnight, and finally the strategic weapon codenamed, Anti-Black Flash Black Kitten Armor, appeared. Washington. Parting with Gwen and Kayla at the station, especially police officer George, who drove to pick Gwen home, gave Xin Yan a meaningful look when he drove away. Xin Yan pretended not to see it. After continuing to take Kayla to take a taxi and leave, the sky outside the street was already dark, and thousands of neon lights fainted under the cover of snowflakes. Christmas Eve is coming, Xin Yan thought for a while, and instead of heading home with his school bag, he set off for another place in the city. Washington, Potomac River. The bustling commercial street on the side is rendered by the lively atmosphere of the festival, and it seems that the snow-covered woods by the riverside bridge are somewhat deserted. Xin Yan came here, watching the perfect posture sitting on the wooden chair by the river, and couldn't help speeding up his pace. Auntie, I'm back. The woman sitting elegantly on the wooden chair turned her head, her stunningly exquisite face was cold and soft, and her jewel-clear eyes reflected the figure of the young man. Xin Yan's heart jumped violently, and he smiled and nodded and said, I'm back, so you have been waiting for a long time. The two did not make an agreement or contact, but came here very tacitly. After all, this is where they first met, and it happened to be Christmas Eve 16 years ago. 16 years ago today, a demigod who is completely disappointed in the human world, and a reincarnated person who has just arrived in this world. The lonely two become family members who will spend the years together. Sit down and talk. Diana blinked. Xin Yan put down her school bag and was about to sit down in the wooden chair next to her aunt. The aunt suddenly opened her hands forward. The chair outside is cold. Think of me as a child again. Although Xin Yan said that, he was still very honest, sitting on those slender and elastic long legs. Who can resist the true fragrance model? Diana asked softly. That black kitten that appeared in New York, is it you? Yes. Xin Yan nodded, and would accidentally encounter the symbiote venom, and cause a three in one, plus the hunting of the symbiont, and explain it once again. It turned out to be so. Diana thoughtfully looked at the little emperor who was still asleep in her school bag, and thought, if it's not a last resort, don't easily enter that uncontrollable state in the future. I know. Xin Yan believed that under the three in one, the complicated thoughts and extreme temperament that appeared were far more distorted and terrifying than when the venom was parasitic alone. But, this will also mean that he cannot borrow the power of the symbiont venom that will be revived in the future. After all, once he is hosted by venom, he can only be forced to enter the triad mode. Until this problem is solved, Xin Yan can no longer coexist with venom. And now, the venom is parasitic on the elemental eater, and although it is in a dormant state, the fluids of each other may already circulate. This also means that Xin Yan cannot obtain the ability of the elemental eater alone through the Lord of the Dependents. I have an idea. Auntie's voice suddenly came from behind her ears. You said. Xin Yan nodded. Come home with me. Diana said gently. Auntie, what are you talking about? I definitely can only go home with you. Xinian didn't know why. Christmas, where else can I go? I'm not talking about home here in Washington. Diana took a breath and said seriously, come back to my hometown with me. Home. Xin Yan was stunned. The hometown of Aunt Diana, in the bathtub that night, Xin Yan had heard of it. It's not as simple as New York, a metropolis, or a particular city or town, but a place left behind by the old gods called. Paradise Island, inhabited by the fighting people inherited from the age of the gods the Amazons. Through the fabric, you can feel the delicateness and flexibility of the long legs you are sitting on. Xin Yan asked with some doubts, Auntie, didn't you say that you were exiled from Paradise Island? Paradise Island. 
Created by Olympus the king of god Zeus, the island is protected by a magical protective force field. Not only humans' high-tech equipment cannot detect the existence of the island from the outside, and once they leave the island, they will forget the correct landmark of the island. Because of this, the Paradise Island is not only a real existence on the Earth, but it is truly isolated from the human world. Aunt Diana, when she left Paradise Island in World War I, she forgot the coordinates of the island, which is equivalent to being exiled forever and unable to return to her hometown. That's true. Diana nodded lightly, her beautiful eyes flashing with wisdom. However, with your help not long ago, I thought of a way to return to Paradise Island. My, help. Xin Yan was even more confused. When did he help Auntie? Diana whispered, it is not important to find a way to return to Paradise Island. The important thing is, are you willing to go back with me? This moment, on the other side of the river, the scene of modern streets is getting hotter and hotter, and the night breeze blows through the extremely thin layer of floating ice on the river. Xin Yan suddenly realized that this was also a choice. Is it to choose the life, identity, and everything in the human world for the past 16 years, or to follow the ant? Does this still need hesitation? Xin Yan smiled. I am willing. Diana asked with some doubts. Even if I can never see your friend again. That is naturally a very sad thing. Xin Yan paused and said sincerely. But, if I never see my aunt again, I will die. Since ancient times, many heroes have died under the skirt. Besides, he is not a hero, he is sitting on a skirt. Well, you want to stay in Paradise Island for a long time. My mother doesn't agree. Diana tapped the back of Xin Yen's head with her finger, and smiled. It's been a long time since I saw the people from the tribe, I just went back. Before the end of your vacation, we will come back together. When will we leave then? Xin Yen asked curiously, isn't this the equivalent of a few days trip to Paradise Island? No, it's more like going back to your mother's house with aunt. Xin Yan thought. Diana didn't have as many thoughts as he did, and her lips lightly opened. Now, let's set off immediately. The next day, in the morning, the GNC, on a three-tier sightseeing cruise ship with huge amounts of. Due to the local Mediterranean climate in Greece, it does not appear cold in winter. Bathed in bright and brilliant sunshine, the tourists on the boat boarded the open air deck one after another, enjoying the romance of the cool sea breeze and ocean scenery. While entertaining and relaxing, tourists from all over the world seemed to look forward to a wonderful affair. The men are dressed as handsome British gentlemen, and the ladies are mostly in gorgeous and graceful dresses. Many people were on the deck while enjoying the sea view and chatting freely. When a woman boarded the deck of the cruise ship, all the men's eyes were amazing, and the women on the court were eclipsed by each other. The black-haired woman wore a white dress with slanted shoulders and slits. Her delicate and beautiful face was shaped like a god himself. Under a long skirt, her tall and mature perfect body outlined a 12-point graceful curve. Her gestures are noble and elegant, and her beauty, slightly curly shawl is gleaming. Next to the woman, there was a young boy with a green face, a handsome face, and a close-fitting shirt uniform. The two went side by side from the cabin to the deck, like a pair of siblings about 10 years old. Immediately, a gentleman on the deck took the lead, approaching the woman, and said politely, This lady, may I be honored to meet you. Not waiting for a mature and stunning woman to respond, the teenager next to him suddenly announced his sovereignty, embracing his slender waist with his hands, and smiling politely, Sorry, this is my little girlfriend. Little, girlfriend. At that instant, many people on the deck were shocked, and for a while they suspected that they had heard it wrong. The gentleman who took off his hat to strike up a conversation was also a little dumbfounded, and looked at the woman subconsciously. Diana didn't speak, her lips pursed with a small smile, as if tacitly acknowledging her identity. Xin Yan blinked and said, Uncle, can you please let me go? Me, uncle. The gentleman twitched the corners of his mouth, and received some kind of fatal blow. When the other gentlemen saw this, they didn't ask themselves to be boring in the past, but suddenly felt that the lady walking around was not fragrant. At a very young age, people are on the peak of people, and people are really incomparable with people when they drive the best car. Xin Yan came to the deck railing with Diana in one hand, and the vast and boundless blue sea was greeted head on. Diana glanced at Xin Yan and suddenly said, 
Just now, what did you say I am you? Little, Xi Nian opened his mouth, and then resolutely said, Auntie. Really? Diana was expressionless. Definitely. Hurry up and let go. Oh. Xi Nian withdrew his hand in a jealous manner, still a little aggrieved. Diana seemed to feel that her tone was a little more serious, so she could not help but add in a low voice, Outside, don't hug me like this. Xi Nian's heart beat inexplicably. In other words, if you are not outside, you can hold whatever you want at home. Top level understanding, if, I want to hug it tonight. Xi Nian couldn't help but said, feeling that she still had to get her aunt's approval. Diana turned away and looked at the sea in front of her seriously, as if she hadn't heard what he said. It seems that there is no show. Xi Nian didn't feel much pity in his heart, and he really let him hug, but in the end it was him who felt uncomfortable. Diana suddenly said, the location of Paradise Island, I remembered some more. That's great, think about it again. Xi Nian's eyes shone slightly, and he stopped talking, allowing the ant to concentrate. If you have supernatural power, you can definitely see it. At the moment, Diana's right hand was always holding a golden lasso. The other side of the lasso is tied to his left wrist. The golden lasso is used to restrain others and allow them to confide in truth. There is also a hidden rule. Even in the depths of my memory, things I have forgotten will be forcibly remembered. Since she was inspired by the last time he bound Xi Nian, Diana now uses the mantra lasso to herself, borrowing the power of the artifact to fight against the law of Paradise Island, so as to remind herself of the correct coordinates of Paradise Island. I remember. Diana suddenly opened her beautiful eyes and reminded inexplicably, Xi Nian, get ready. Prepare. What to prepare? Xi Nian turned his head and glanced at her aunt and found that the white skirt with slanted shoulders and slits she was wearing had changed into a red armored dress when armed, with a war shield and silver sword on her back, worn on her forehead and wrist. The crown and bracelet of her gleamed dazzlingly in the sun. Auntie, you are like this. Xi Nian turned her head back in shock, and her rushed voice soon stopped again. I saw that the many tourists on the deck were still looking at the scenery and socializing, and none of them looked at the cross-dressing Aunt Diana, as if they no longer exist on the deck in the eyes of others. Don't worry, they can't see it. As Diana said, she stretched out her hand to hug Xi Nian directly, raised her right hand with the golden lasso, and squatted slightly in a posture of accumulating energy. Xi Nian realized what her aunt was going to do and couldn't help but exclaimed, Wait a minute. I'm not ready yet. Before the words of Xi Nian were finished, Diana had already taken off vigorously, and was tens of meters ahead of the cruise ship. When the two of them were about to land on the sea, the golden rope raised by Diana waved forward, trapping the surging wave tip from the distant sea, pulling with force, and once again leapt forward to the sea ahead. It looked like it was galloping on the surface of the sea, and the waves rippled fiercely all the way. Look, what's that? The tourists on the deck looked at the sea in front of the cruise ship. They could only see a straight white track, mistakenly thinking it was similar to tuna marine life or something, watching the white water arrow quickly disappearing at the end of the Aegean Sea. Diana is like a humanoid fighter jet diving at low altitude on the sea. Xi Nian in her arms took out a pair of windshield glasses from her pocket and put it on, so that she could open her eyes under the oncoming strong hurricane. It can be seen that the sea is constantly retreating to both sides of the body, and soon the yacht is left far behind, and finally disappears. Above the boundless sea, only Diana and Xi Nian were swooping and flying. That's all. I don't know where to go, 10 kilometers, or hundreds of kilometers. Until, with a, pop, Diana led Xi Nian through an invisible barrier. Xi Nian opened his eyes wide, and the originally endless deep blue sea suddenly transformed into a blue sea with clear and shallow water. Among the large reefs guarded by soldiers, majestic archipelagos sit in the deepest part of the sea. The largest and most central island is surrounded by golden sandy beaches, surrounded by mountains and mountains, and on the peaks and cliffs are many ancient Greek-style white temples and holy place buildings. The large waterfall is like a crown on the top of the mountains, descending vigorously, forming an extremely dazzling rainbow halo. There is no need for Aunt Diana to explain, Xi Nian knows it just by looking at it. Here is the legacy of the old Olympic gods, a dreamy Paradise Island isolated from the world and free from secular disputes. Paradise Island. 
Paradise Island touches the open sea on the beach. A group of wild female warriors wearing ancient Greek style leather battle suits, battle armors, and holding cold weapons such as bows and arrows, metal spears, etc., watched the unknown existence that formed a water arrow approaching rapidly near the sea and waited for them to lift up. Shield, pull the big bow, and align the cold and sharp spear tip with the sword tip. The leading female general sits on the back of a strong black horse, holding a silver long sword, her face is firm and cold, her bare muscles are bronze, and she has a domineering and killing aura far surpassing most men. Just when the Amazons were about to attack the intruder, the female general looked at the invaders approaching, she suddenly shook her body and said loudly, everyone, put down your weapons. General, this, the female soldiers didn't know why, but they still followed the instructions and put away their weapons. Step on. One intruder, no, it should be two intruders, arriving at the beach of Paradise Island from the outside see very quickly. Seeing the woman in the battle suit wearing the unique crown of the Amazon royal family among them, the Amazon women warriors on the field were shocked, and then they put their hands on their chests with great excitement, and knelt down on one knee to show their loyalty and loyalty, support. Your Highness, His Royal Highness, is that you? The female general came down from the black horse, her whole body trembling, and she spoke in disbelief. Diana put Shinian down in her arms, and quickly stepped forward with unbearable joy, yes, Antioch, aunt. I'm back. The two hugged tightly. A smile appeared on Shinian's face, and she stayed aside very witty, and did not disturb her aunt's reunion with her relatives. Antioch's original cold face was full of smiles, and he patted Diana on the back, and said excitedly, okay, well, just come back. Your mother and my queen, all the people of Amazon, have been looking forward to waiting for you, return. Mother, she is okay. Diana asked softly, very good, but I also care about you very much. Antioch smiled and urged, hurry up and go back to the palace with me, and let your mother and the people look at you. Antioch, wait a minute. Diana shook her head. At this time, the Amazons on the field have already focused their eyes on Xinyan behind Diana. Humanity. Many female fighters subconsciously showed sharp eyes of rejection and hostility. His Royal Highness Diana. Antioch looked at Xinyan nearby, his face returned to his previous solemn indifference. You should know, Paradise Island, no outsiders are allowed to set foot. What's more, it is a male human. Antioch said to Xinyan, who are you? I, I am. Xin Yen hesitated for a moment, facing the female General Antioch and a group of aggressive female Amazon soldiers, he suddenly didn't know what to say about his identity. The most appropriate one should be Diana's, adopted son. In fact, Xin Yen has been instinctively rejecting the identity of adopted son, so she has called Diana her aunt since she was a child, and Diana also agreed to the name Roar by default. However, if you don't use the status of an adopted child now, and you don't claim to be Diana's relatives, you will obviously not be able to pass the Amazonian level. Just when Xin Yen's hesitation was undecided, Diana stepped forward. Diana didn't say anything to explain, and her stunningly delicate face remained calm. She stood close in front of Xin Yen, suddenly raised her hands, and took off the crown that was Zhou Xian's status symbol. His Royal Highness, what do you want to do? Antioch seemed to realize something and couldn't help but exclaimed. Without responding to Antioch's words that meant to stop, Diana smiled slightly, and under the shocked gaze of the Amazon female warrior, she put her silver crown on Xin Yen's head. Xin Yen blinked, unable to understand what this meant. On the beach of Paradise Island, the female general Antioch and the female Amazon warrior looked shocked, puzzled, or angry, and fell silent. Without much explanation, when the Amazon princess Diana put her diadem starlight on the head of a human male, she already stated her position. His name is Xinian, Xinian prince. Diana said softly, as if she was announcing something. Ah, good noon, the weather today is really good. Well, I'm glad to meet you all. In order to avoid the cold, Xinian, wearing a crown, waved his hand and enthusiastically called roar to the female soldiers. However, no one responded to his words, and the court seemed even more silent. Xin Yen stopped waving his hand, and his scalp numb, feeling that this was really embarrassing and he opened the door to embarrassment. Embarrassing home. 
Even so, he would not be able to enter the main island of the Paradise Island without the Queen's instructions. Antioch's chest was fluctuating, his fists clenched, and his eyes looked at Xin Yen with extremely cold eyes. Xin Yen suddenly felt that this look was a bit familiar. Well, it's like the look in the eyes that Officer George often looks at him. I know, I'm going to meet the Queen Mother. Diana nodded and said, Antioch, can you please arrange a residence for Xin Yen in the archipelago next to the main island? He wants to stay here for a few days. No problem. Faced with Diana's request, Antioch finally gritted his teeth and agreed, no matter how reluctant. Xinian. Diana turned her head and said softly to Xinian, You first follow my aunt, Antioch, to the arranged residence. I will come back to see you later after I meet my queen. Okay, you go. Xinian agreed, thinking that he would be a tourist island with not good tourism services. It was nothing. Come with me. Antioch glanced at him blankly rolled over and rode on the dark horse. Away from the palace and the residences of Amazon residents, Paradise Island is on the edge of a cliff facing the open sea. There is a huge and peculiar ancient round building. Antioch brought Xin Yen to the main entrance of the ancient building. Looking at the complete building resembling the ancient holy place ruins, Xin Yen said in surprise, this is the place for me to live. Actually, it doesn't need to be such a good one. Antioch, who was riding a black horse in front, ignored it, and came to the door of the ancient building on his own, and said to the female guard who was guarding the silver armor on both sides of the door, arrange for him a spare guard room. Yes, general. The two female guards in front of the door quickly took their orders. They curiously looked at the first human teenager who came here, and when they saw the familiar crown on the teenager's head, they suddenly revealed their previous the look of shock like a female soldier. Why? Look at me like this again. Xin Yen murmured in her heart for a while, and she didn't understand the meaning of the crown on top. Watch him, don't let him walk around. Antioch dropped this sentence to the female guard, leaving Xin Yen alone at the gate of the ancient building, riding a dark horse and leaving, and did not align himself with Xin Yen the whole time. Face and words. After Antioch's resolute dust left, one of the female guards respectfully said to Xin Yen, Your Highness, please come in with me. Your Highness, Xin Yen was stunned for a moment, watching the female guard walking into the ancient building, suddenly felt that the people here were still very polite. Xin Yen followed the female guard to the entrance, and the more he entered the building, the more he felt something was wrong. The inner walls of this ancient building are unimaginably thick, without doors and windows, and the only main entrance is just a two-meter high crowded corridor. It's not so much a residence, it's more like a secret place to hold prisoners or store items. That's it. The female guard took Xin Yen and did not enter the center of the building, but stopped on the side of the corridor. As she pushed on the bricks, a hidden door hidden in the wall slowly opened, countless the loose dust fell splatteringly. Ahem. The female guard and Xin Yen coughed, and when the dust cleared, on the high wall of the inner room behind the secret door, a faint blue hanging light automatically turned on. Look inward along the lights. It can be seen that there is a small room with a square square and less than 20 square meters. A weapon rack is displayed in the room, and there are two very simple beds. Other than that, there is nothing left. The corners of Xin Yen's mouth twitched slightly, and the small black room was no longer there. Thick dust accumulated on this weapon rack and bed, and it had been a long time since he had not lived. His Royal Highness, please wait. I'll clean it up for you. The female guard waved the dust in the room and apologized, this room was prepared for the guards who guarded here late at night when this building was designed. However, the guards stationed here later evacuated most of the personnel, so they remained vacant without cleaning. The guard. What is the guard? Xin Yan was a little dazed, wouldn't this set up a detention center for him? Or he was simply wronged and locked him up as a criminal? It's just an item, the female guard said while packing up. That thing is in the deepest part of this building, but it's nothing to look at. I have been guarding for about 10 years, and before me, we Amazons have already it has been guarded for thousands of years. Let me live in such an important place, okay. Xin Yen became more flustered, and he needed to be guarded closely for a thousand years. There is no problem here, and the ghosts don't believe it. It's nothing. As long as it doesn't leave here, it's fine. For thousands of years, it hasn't had any abnormalities, so don't worry. The female guard shrugged and said, 
What's more, you are the monarch of that one. You live with such a distinguished identity. I'm bending over here too. Wait. Xin Yen raised his brows. Monarch, what do you mean? The female guard was also puzzled, and pointed to the crown he was wearing. Could it be that it's not Princess Diana's? Yes. Xin Yen nodded. That's right. After the female guard confirmed, she said solemnly, We Amazons, from the moment we are born, we are equipped with a crown. The royal family is the crown, and the warrior is the armor crown. This is the identity of our life, and a symbol of honor. Then this crown is worn on my head at the moment. Xin Yen opened his eyes wide after realizing it. It means that she has given you honor, identity, and everything that is most valuable, and you are her monarch. We share honor and disgrace, advance and retreat on the same stand. Having said this, the female guard sighed for a while, her eyes looking at Xin Yen through the gap of the iron helmet. I don't know why, that highness will choose you, a human being, as her other half. Definitely, this is not me either. As far as I can evaluate, I can only respect her choice. Xin Yen was silent. He didn't feel surprised, but felt that the crown on his head was heavy and overwhelmed. Aunt Diana, naturally it is impossible to choose him as the other half. This is mostly like before, he deliberately called his auntie a little girlfriend, to deal with a conversation. It was just because he had a more reasonable identity to stay on Paradise Island. But, an independent, intellectual, beautiful, powerful, and perfect woman like Aunt Diana, let pride and honor a god like her, at the moment, like an accessory, declares that everything she represents is placed on him. The price of this, even Xin Yen feels worthless for her aunt. After the female guard cleaned up and went out from the small dark room, Xin Yen lay alone on the fairly clean bed, clutching the auntie's starlight crown in her arms, and the swaying cold fire light fell on him. Wagwan, naturally it is impossible to return it back. After all, Retire is still beating Aunt Diana in the face. However, this crown is too heavy. In all respects, it is the most precious thing in the world and cannot be measured by value. Can I bear it? Xin Yen lay on the bed for a long time, finally sighed, put the crown on her head again, got up and walked out of the room. Even if there is no claustrophobia, it is too boring here, and he wants to go out and catch his breath. However, Xin Yen just walked halfway to the door, recalling the previous female general Antioch, and instructed the female guard on duty at the door not to let him walk around. Now, he can fully understand why Antioch treats himself so badly. If someone hits Aunt Diana's idea, Xin Yen's attitude will definitely be a hundred times worse. And if he knew the meaning behind her auntie holding a crown in advance, Xin Yen would never let her aunt wear it on her head. If she was forced to go out as her royal highness, the female guard should not dare to stop her, but Xin Yen didn't want to embarrass the female guard, so she still turned around in the tunnel by herself. Go back to your door. Xin Yen stopped abruptly and looked into the depths of the corridor inside the ancient building. There was a little light at the end, and there was also a subtle wind coming through the dark corridor. Since you are not allowed to walk around outside, it doesn't matter if you walk inside, right? Xin Yen shrugged. What's more, the female guard just said that as long as you don't take the contents out, there will be no problem. Xin Yen did not think too much, did not stop, and continued to walk deeper into the ancient building. This wall is really thick. The more Xin Yen walked into the corridor, the more surprised she felt. In this ancient round building, there were almost no other rooms except the darkroom on duty just now. They were all solid brick walls, and there was only a not-so-wide corridor leading to the inside. Can you imagine? In terms of design style, this round building is like a closed poke ball. As long as the tunnel is closed, no one can get out of it. Perhaps, there is only a three in one state, which can forcefully break out while trapped inside. Xin Yen pondered for a moment, and suddenly remembered the elemental devouring beast. My aunt said it was difficult to bring it to Paradise Island, so she entrusted it to it. A friend who has experience in raising pets takes care of it for a few days. That friend, seems to be called, Barry Allen. Xin Yen soon came to the deepest part of the building, and the moment he walked out of the tunnel, the scene in front of him was bright and cheerful. Inside, it is a very spacious retro hall. Strange stone murals and ancient Greek characters are carved around the hall, which seems to record a long, unknown history of old gods. 
The star-shaped metal bars on the top floor of the hall are filled with light, cool breeze, and air infiltration. A series of faint light beams of dust shone down, subtly falling on the stone altar in the middle of the ancient building's main hall. Above the two-meter-high stone altar, there is a cube mysterious object, like a rusty metal box. The iron box, I don't know how long it has been left here, the glimmer, the dust, and even the years, all settled down beside it. This is something that has been guarded for more than a thousand years. Xin Yen stared blankly. He finally knew why no one could touch it for thousands of years. Let's not mention that Paradise Island has its own Zeus enchantment, which is guarded by Amazons, so it's pitiful to show off. Who wants this broken box? Definitely, maybe it's a hidden artifact. Xin Yen didn't intend to study it. He stood in front of the stone altar and began to exercise for middle school students. Taking a deep breath, the air in the deepest hall communicated with the outside world, and Xin Yen felt a lot more comfortable. But suddenly, he seemed to see something in his aftermath. Xin Yen stopped his movements, and his surprised eyes fell on the iron box on the top of the stone altar. Just now, did that thing move? Paradise Island, Amazon Palace. The palace is magnificent and magnificent. Any of the decorations inside, including the golden seats and bead curtains that are still in use, are all collected by collector. Queen. Diana walked into the palace and squatted down on a seat. On the golden seat, a dignified woman with a golden crown and face and body somewhat similar to Diana, Amazon Queen Hippolyte, couldn't help showing an excited and true smile. Hippolyte reached forward and touched Diana's face lightly with his palm. My child, you have suffered outside alone. No, Diana shook her head lightly, clutching her mother's hand and said, Queen, I'm fine, I can take care of myself. I definitely know. After all, you are the only daughter of my Amazon queen. Hippolyte smiled and nodded, then paused suddenly, looking at Diana's forehead, Diana, your starry crown. Mother, I was about to tell you about this. This time, I didn't come back alone. With a happy smile on her face, Diana said very seriously and proudly, I gave it to a man, a human. Ancient building, inside the main hall. Xin Yan looked at the iron box in a daze. Didn't the female guard just say that this thing hasn't been moved in thousands of years? Why, he saw the iron box shake slightly just now. Dizzy, wrong, do not rule out this possibility. Xin Yan just glanced at Yu Guang, it is very likely that the interference of light and shadow made him mistakenly think that the box moved. To confirm, Xin Yan relied on Roar to suck, and approached the stone altar. Nearly three meters away, Xin Yan could see clearly that the iron box on the stone altar had strange patterns, like stars in the sun, and a thick layer of dust accumulated on the surface of the box. The light beam on the dome of the building bathed him. Xin Yan subconsciously reached out to the iron box on the stone altar, trying to wipe off the dust on the surface of the box. Fingers, a little closer. Just before his fingertips were about to touch the box, Xin Yan hurriedly withdrew his hand again. What you are doing and touching other people's things are not a good habit. But, seeing the dust on the box, Xin Yan also confirmed that he had made a mistake just now if the box really shook, the dust on it would definitely be shaken off. Forget it, go back. Xin Yan gave up exploring the broken box and turned and walked out of the building's main hall. Xin Yan did not find out. He just walked out of the main hall on his front foot and entered the corridor. The iron box placed on the stone altar trembled slightly for several times, shaking off a lot of dust. The dust that shook off hadn't landed before disappearing into the space in the hall strangely. The box seems to be trembling with autonomous life. It seems to be afraid, afraid of something behind. And this trembling soon fell back into the calm that had been maintained for thousands of years. It continues to lie dormant, waiting for an opportunity. Inside the Amazon Palace, Diana's beautiful eyes are piercing and energetic, and she naturally looks at the Amazon Queen, like a female knight shining with proud wings, instead of the princess who was protected and loved by all the Amazons. Mother, when I was young, didn't you say that human beings are the most miraculous, powerful, and infinite potential artifact created by the gods? She paused and said sincerely, when I went to the outer human world, I was looking forward to it, and I was soon disappointed in human beings. So, in fact, I banished myself and chose to stay in the world over there. Find an answer to your heart. 
Have you found it? Hippolyte's frowning brow eased, and he looked at his only daughter calmly. Yes, I understand what you said at the beginning. Diana smiled slightly. Shinian, he is the miracle I chose and the answer I want to find. Hippolyte was silent for a moment, and asked softly, you have so much confidence in him. Diana's heroic eyebrows spread out like a sword's edge, and said seriously, I have confidence in myself, that's why I made this decision. She gently held the palm of her mother's queen, and whispered, Mother, you won't blame me, do you? How come? Hippolyte shook his head and looked at her and said, You are my daughter. No matter what you decide, I will support you. At this time, from outside the gate of the palace, the female general Antioch walked in angrily, and then stepped into the doorway and said solemnly, I don't agree. Antioch. Hippolyte looked up at her. See your majesty the queen. Antioch bowed on one knee in the hall of the palace, and then repeated his statement, I disagree, Diana's choice. She is the princess of our Amazon clan, how can she take her body off? Everything is staked on a weak and young human. She couldn't understand and couldn't accept it. Antioch. Diana was about to speak, but Hippolyte patted the back of her hand and said to Antioch, You, it's still this violent temper. You remember, when Diana was a child ns. Antioch frowned, wondering what the queen wanted to say. Hippolyte whispered, when Diana was a child, she liked to take a peek at the daily training of you and the Amazon female fighters. Out of my love for her, I didn't want her to become a fighter, so I repeatedly reprimanded and publicly strictly prohibited her. Diana touched the weapon. But, in the end, she didn't sneak away to train with you. This. Antioch opened his mouth, and stopped talking. I think you should also be very clear in your heart. Hippolyte said with emotion, neither you nor I can influence Diana when she was a child. How could she influence her choice when she grows up? You said she was good enough. Outstanding, and now this is her decision, how can you question her? Antioch was completely silent. She clenched her fist tightly, loosened it a little bit, and said helplessly, I, I, respect the decision of His Highness Diana. And when the Amazon Queen Hippolyte and the female General Antioch stopped vetoing, no one on Paradise Island could question Diana's choice anymore. This will also indicate that Xinyan's identity and status on Paradise Island will rise to the same position as the Amazon Princess Diana. Diana suddenly said, Antioch, there is one more thing I want to ask you, it's about Xinyan. Queen Hippolyte was slightly stunned, and entrusted the affairs of Xinyan to Antioch. Isn't this unreliable? Antioch raised his brow and said, His Royal Highness, Diana, you said. Diana whispered, I think, let Xinyan him. In the ancient building. Xinyan, who was lying in the small black room, collapsed on the bed. Suddenly, a clear stepping sound came from the corridor outside. Someone is here. Xinyan suddenly sat up and saw the previous female guard hurriedly walk in, holding a set of clothes in her hand. Your Majesty, quickly put it on, General Antioch wants to see you. Is it the meal? Taking the clothes handed over by the female guard, Xinyan didn't care about the 371, and took off her shirt directly, scaring the female guard and ran out in a panic. Why, it's not that I haven't seen a man. Xinyan muttered for a while, changed the clothes he gave, and walked outside the ancient building. Walk out of the long and dark corridors of ancient buildings. Xin Yan, who came outside the door, felt like seeing the sun again. He looked down at the clothes he had just changed on his body. Well, this time it's a serious men's clothing, brown linen with short sleeves on the upper body, and trousers with ankle feet for easy movement on the lower body, which are also the characteristics of old clothes from the ancient Greek era. It's just that, how do these trousers look like a newly refitted sewing, the thread ends are all new. Without waiting for Xin Yan to think about it, a horseshoe and roar sounded in front, and a female cavalry quickly appeared in front of the ancient building on the edge of the cliff. The leader riding the dark horse is naturally the female general Antioch. Antioch looked at Xin Yan at the door, whispered a few words to the female guard, and then said to the female cavalry team behind him, bring him a horse. Horse. Xin Yan watched a female cavalry pull a fierce and handsome white horse to come to her, her mouth twitched. My lord, times have changed. Can you get some modern transportation? Seeing Antioch and the female knights staring at him, Xin Yan could only squeeze his eyes with the small eyes of the nearby white horse. The female guard seemed to see his embarrassment, 
and stepped forward and asked, His Royal Highness, do you want to help you mount the horse? Then I beg you. Xi Nian was greatly moved, and then, he flew. He was thrown directly by the female guard for two or three meters and landed on the back of the white horse. The white horse was frightened, carrying Xi Nian violently to move his limbs, and flew out like a falling arrow. Go! Antioch stared at both feet, leading the female cavalry to chase the white horse. Surrounded by the female cavalry team, the white horse began to slow down, and Xi Nian on the saddle was in shock. Fortunately, he grabbed the leash in time, otherwise he would have been thrown out. Riding on the white horse to ease his breath, Xi Nian found that the female cavalry team had slowed down, not for his sake, but they had entered the town area of Paradise Island. The unobstructed and spacious white stone road winds along the mountain road, and on both sides of the road stands countless white building communities. When the female cavalry team led Xi Nian through the town's roads, hundreds of thousands of local residents wearing white dresses, and even armed soldiers standing guard everywhere, all came to the side of the road and stared at Xi Nian in the center of the team. With different colors. Xi Nian suddenly had a sense of sight when she came to the subject's home for the first time and was surrounded by relatives such as the seven aunts and eight aunts. This is no longer as simple as a group of relatives, but a tribe, a race. This is not the point. The point is, all women appear. Not a male. And there is no old man in decline. Xi Nian finally realized why the men's clothing on her body was newly sewn. Because there is no need for men on this island. Paradise Island. Why don't you change your name to the country of daughters? Antioch led the female knight team and led Xi Nian through the town of Paradise Island to a mountain. Xi Nian, who was riding on a white horse, only felt his eyes shine. This mountain seems to have been cut off from the top of the mountain by Wiley, like a natural exercise platform with a wide open area on all sides. The ground is covered with soft carpeted grass, facing the endless sky and ocean. On the grass of the natural exercise field, dozens of tall female warriors, shirtless and wearing battle skirts, practiced bravely and earnestly against each other. The physical fitness of each of them is higher than that of ordinary humans, and they all use real swords and guns in their hands. The fierce collision between the blade and the tip of the blade, sparks splashing everywhere, and the sound of metal clanging. This is the female warrior of the Amazon clan. If it is an equal number of modern human army against it, it will undoubtedly be crushed directly into meat foam. In the face of the invaders, they will rush to the forefront for the first time to start fighting and fighting. Seeing Antioch riding here on a black horse, the female soldiers on the training ground stopped their movements and saluted with respect. General. Immediately afterwards, their unconcealed hostile eyes, like sharp blades, all fell on the young man behind Antioch. There is no need for anyone to explain, everyone knows Xi Nian's identity at a glance. After all, as a human being, he is still a man, and he is too recognizable on Paradise Island. What's more, he wears a royal crown of stars on his head. If his eyes can kill dead men, Xi Nian obviously has no idea how many times he has been killed. Xi Nian sighed secretly, and he could understand where the current hostility of Amazon fighters came from. These female warriors are more violent and violent than the female guards. For them, who admire strength, they are far less worthy of the Amazon princess as a minor. But but, understanding does not mean that you can accept it. They can really underestimate themselves as human beings, but now he wears the ant's crown on his head. Before, even the white horse was a little unsteady, Xi Nian's eyes were like torches, and she coldly raised her eyes, and faced the female soldiers who cast hostile eyes one by one. Under the shining of golden sunlight, the starlight was glowing with a halo of majestic twinkles, making at the moment, the young Xi Nian sitting on the white horse seemed to be a member of the royal family. Many Amazon women warriors subconsciously avoid their gazes and dare not look directly. Antioch was a little surprised. She deliberately let the most brave and powerful female warriors confront Xi Nian, just to give Xi Nian a disarm, letting him know that she could not bear the weight of the crown. But, Antioch's idea was wrong, so wrong. Actually, Xi Nian also thinks that he can't bear the huge amounts of the auntie's crown, but now as long as the crown is worn on his head for a second, then he will never be able to soften and bow his head to anyone, causing people to defile it. The brilliance. If you bow your head, it will be the dignity and honor of Aunt Diana. This is Xi Nian's Ni Lin. 
Antioch seemed to wake up suddenly, and shouted at the female soldiers, hurry up and salute. The female soldiers looked at each other, no matter how reluctant they were, they still saluted the crown of white horse Xin Yan he was wearing, see, your highness. Xin Yan took a shot of the white horse, and even the white horse obeyed a lot at this time, leaning down happily. Antioch fell from the dark horse and gave instructions to the female soldier, let's rest on the spot, and then practice after lunch. Yes, general. The female soldiers packed their weapons one after another. After a while, ordinary civilians brought figs, cheese, bread, and fresh roasted meat over. These female fighters were not restrained, and gathered in a circle to dine on the spot. The horse group leaned against the side of the grass. Xin Yan sat down on the grass alone, and soon, a plentiful food was delivered to him. His Royal Highness, the lunch of our Amazon soldiers is basically solved like this. If you are not used to it, I can arrange for you to have lunch indoors. Antioch came over, holding a roast leg of lamb in his hand. Perhaps it was Xin Yen's treatment just now that changed her a lot, and her face was far less cold than before. It's a picnic, it's a good experience. Xin Yen shrugged, washed his hands with clean water, and ate bread and barbecue on the spot. He is really hungry. Antioch looked at Xin Yen who was eating extremely fragrantly, suddenly a little stunned. She remembered that when Diana was a child, after she was approved to train with their soldiers, she refused to go to the palace for lunch anymore, and instead ate with them on the grass in the exercise field. Antioch said, thank you. What? Xin Yen looked at her for unknown reasons. Thank you, I just maintained the reputation of His Royal Highness Diana. Antioch was expressionless. This doesn't need your thanks. Xin Yen said bluntly, she is my family, this is my obligation. Family duty. A strange color flashed in Antioch's eyes. Finished lunch. Xin Yen thought he could go back to rest, but saw Antioch suddenly get up and picked up two ancient Greek swords from the weapon rack next to the drill field. Laugh. Antioch himself was holding a Greek sword, and another sword obliquely inserted on the grass in front of Xin Yen. Come on. What are you going to do? Xin Yen looked at Long's sword, frowning slightly. This scene also attracted the attention of all the female soldiers on the field, and they waited and watched. Invite you to fight, this is my duty. Antioch said coldly, now, it's time to perform your duty take up the sword and fight with me. I don't know how to use a sword. Xin Yen's words have not yet fallen. Antioch suddenly dashed forward, with a hunting wind, the Greek long sword in his hand swung towards Xin Yen. Really play. Xin Yen's brown pupil suddenly shrank. He almost subconsciously, holding and pulling out the long sword inserted on the ground with both hands, standing horizontally in front of his body to block. Clang! A sword spun and flew out, spinning a few times, obliquely inserted into the grass behind Xin Yen. Xin Yen looked at her empty hands and felt a sharp pain in her mouth. But Antioch, who rushed forward, suddenly changed a pick, and flew the long sword in Xin Yen's hand. Obligations require corresponding ability to complete. Antioch looked at Xin Yen coldly, too weak. Just like this, you want to take away the most precious treasure of this island. As a guardian die His Royal Highness Anna's wolf and scorpion, I have an obligation to bite your neck at any time. Xin Yen did not speak, but turned around, drew the long sword again, and held it in his hand. Come again. Facing the strongest general of the Amazons, the human teenager wearing a star crown said confidently. At the moment, Washington. A white young man in his early twenties carrying a backpack, yawning sleepily, took out the key and opened the door to his home. Put on home slippers at the door. That's right. Barry Allen suddenly remembered something. Last night, a friend entrusted him with a kitten to take care of. The kitten has been sleeping from last night to this morning, and I don't know if it has woken up now. Thinking of this, Barry couldn't help taking out a small canned fish from his backpack and heading to his room. Open the door. What caught Barry's eyes was the pet bag with the open zipper on the tabletop. The little orange cat curled up inside was no longer visible. Where did you go? Barry muttered for a while, but didn't worry too much. Because of his rich experience in pet raising, he plans to apply for a pet shop clerk after a while. Before he leaves the house in the morning, he has closed the doors and windows and unplugged the electric plug in advance. Even if the kitten runs around the house, there shouldn't be any danger. Huh, 
Barry seemed to have noticed something, and stared at his desk blankly. Wait, where's his chair? Where is the chair? The chair that was so big in the room has disappeared out of thin air. Just when Barry thought his house had been a thief, a soft cat cry came from behind him. Barry looked back and saw a small orange cat that looked harmless to humans and animals standing in front of the door, watching him with a vigilant and guarded expression. Little cat, you are here. Barry breathed a sigh of relief and shook the canned fish in his hand. Look, I brought you something to eat. Barry walked forward and was about to get close to the little orange cat. Unexpectedly, the little orange cat suddenly opened his bloody mouth, and several sturdy and terrifying tentacles stretched out from his mouth and swept toward Barry in the room. Barry widened his eyes in amazement. At the moment of his death, beside him, there was a slight flow of electric current. The next moment, the little orange cat, the room, and even the world, everything fell into a static state. No, it's not static. But Barry was too fast, and it was almost time to stop him. Barry, who had entered a certain ability state, surrounded the elemental devourer who had almost stagnated in front of him, and fell into silence for a while. He remembered. The friend seemed to have reminded that this kitten is something special. This is called special. This is not a cat. Paradise Island, above the drill field. Clang. I don't know how many times the Greek sword held in Xin Yen's hand was knocked out and nailed to the grass. Xin Yen's palm was flushed red, almost oozing blood. Nevertheless, he didn't mean to admit defeat, and walked to the long sword again and again, holding the Greek sword again with the five fingers of his right hand. Come again, Xin Yen gasped, firmly holding the long sword, and once again confronted Antiop who was not breathing in front of him. Around the two, there were already full of female warriors, and further out, many Amazon residents stood by the building, watching the battle with a great disparity in strength. It's useless. Antiop's face was expressionless, a stride approaching Xin Yen, a sword with both strength and speed fell. Xin Yen tried his best to stop him with his sword, but even the man with the sword retreated, and fell on the grass fiercely. The surrounding female soldiers and residents shook their heads, only Antiop on the field suddenly showed a subtle expression. This time, Xin Yen held the sword and didn't let his sword get rid of it again. Definitely, the price is. When Xin Yen supported his long sword to support his body, a drop of blood went down between his fingers and fell on the hilt of the Greek sword. Antiop looked at the boy Ku Chang stood up, and said coldly, it's useless, give up early. Antiop, you are right. Xin Yen smiled while holding a long sword, I want to protect her in the future, I have to become stronger. He said inexplicably, you, are you sweating? It's just being exposed to the sun. You are not enough to make me sweat. Antiop glanced down at his body. To be honest, Xin Yen was indeed stronger than she thought. But that's all, she sees no hope in Xin Yen. This actually made Antiop feel disappointed, and once again the idea of questioning the choice of the princess appeared. Tread. At this moment, Xin Yen seemed to be dragging a long sword and sprinting towards Antiop. Antiop raised his brows, but he didn't expect that the opponent would choose to take the initiative. It's useless. Antiop shook his head and was about to raise his sword to fight, but found that when Xin Yen was halfway through the charge, he took the lead in throwing the long sword in his hand. Take the initiative to abandon the sword. Stupid. Antiop shouted in a low voice, and with a wave of the long sword, he immediately slammed the thrown long sword to the ground. But at the same time, Xin Yen rushed to the vicinity of Antiop's body, his hand that was holding the sword clenched into a fist, hitting Antiop's exposed shoulder with all his strength. Antiop's body was motionless, like a burly mountain, hard to shake with the power of a human teenager. You lost. Antiop's right hand turned into a hand knife, and he slashed at Xin Yen's neck, but before the hand knife fell, his wrist was suddenly firmly grasped by a hand. It's Xin Yen's hand. It's now. Xin Yen's eyes flashed, and his waist twisted fiercely. With the strong strength of his hands, he lifted Antiop's whole body and flew out to the side of the open space. The sword in Antiop's hand fell off and was copied by Xin Yen. Popta. Not only Antiop who fell 10 meters away, but also the female soldiers on the field were shocked looking at Xin Yan who was the only one standing on the field. It was clearly a one-sided situation, but it ushered in a reversal in an instant. At that moment, what happened? What's going on? Antioch, who was lying on the ground, 
was still a little confused, unable to understand what was happening at the moment. Just now, he uploaded from Xin Yan Shou to be comparable to himself. No, it is a force that is stronger than himself. She naturally didn't know. At the moment Xin Yan hit that punch, the blood in his hand was exchanged with the sweat on Antioch, and the precondition for triggering the Lord of the Dependents was achieved. Antioch's physical power was superimposed on Xin Yan, which caused a reversal. The general was repulsed. How can this be? Okay, awesome. After the shocked and noisy discussions, applause broke out over the drill field. No matter how many Amazon women warriors are, whether it is the unyielding and courage of the teenagers, or the wonderful reversal shown in the end, they are enough to give them a trace of respect and feel ashamed of their previous rudeness. Looking at the people on the court to make a difference, Shinian wearing a crown and holding a long sword, Antioch also showed the expression of, lost to you. His Royal Highness, this is what you call a miracle. At night, the sky over Paradise Island is dotted with stars. In the ancient round building, the bright and cool moonlight flows in from the gap of the star-shaped iron window in the main hall. In the dark and silent only corridor, accompanied by the rustling of friction, a young figure drags heavy objects into it. Mother Box. Xin Yen breathed a sigh of relief, placed the mattress in the small black room in the corner of the open-air main hall, and then lay down completely tired. The small black room is too closed, it is better to sleep in this airy main hall, anyway, there is nothing else there except a box. I sleep here, don't you have any comments? Box neighbors. Xin Yan was so awkward that he glanced at the iron box placed on the stone altar not far away, and asked sincerely. The mother box is motionless. If you don't speak, I agree on behalf of you. Xin Yan blinked and slept on the mattress very comfortably, covered with a quilt. Mother box. How does it move? How dare to move? I don't know what happened to my auntie. When Xin Yan was asleep, she was still holding the starlight crown tightly in her arms. Today, he saw many people on Paradise Island, but he did not see Aunt Diana. Yes, I haven't seen my mother for so long, so I stayed in the palace and didn't come out. Xin Yan thought about it, and soon fell into a distant and deep dream. Sleep until midnight. The temperature in the main hall continued to drop a few minutes. Xin Yan suddenly felt chilly in his body. Before he opened his eyes, he was confused, and a familiar scent came from the tip of his nose. As if beside him, a garden of violets bloomed. Huh. Xin Yan woke up in shock, he opened his eyes wide, and stared at his side in a daze. A beautiful mature woman was lying on the mattress beside her. The woman's black slightly curly hair was scattered randomly on the bed. With her eyes closed, her sword eyebrows and eyelashes appeared black and thick. Down the delicate face with its own beauty effect, it is a tall and delicate body made of perfect proportions. The proud chest shape is extremely high. With the even roar, the waist is slender and fit. A pair of long legs can only be bent and overlapped so as not to stick out of the bed. She wore a noble and gorgeous golden royal dress, and the bright moonlight covered her body like a silver scarf like a god who did not belong to the world, with an unreal beauty. It seems that Xin Yan has awakened and is watching herself. The woman's jewel-like eyes opened slightly, clearly reflecting the face of the boy nearby. Auntie, why are you here? Xin Yan thought he was dreaming. Didn't you say it in the morning, and want to, hold it in the evening? Diana said, as if it was definitely something for her to appear here. Morning, Xin Yan suddenly remembered. In fact, he just said casually. Unexpectedly, the aunt not only wrote it down, but also came here to fulfill her wish at this time. Auntie version of Ding Dong Cat, you deserve it. Really, can it? Looking at the slender waist like a mermaid, Xin Yan felt that her heart was accelerating a lot. Yeah, Diana nodded slightly. Therefore, Xin Yan's hand was gently placed on her aunt's waist. Xin Yan's first feeling is. It should be said to be the royal clothing of the Amazon family. The fabric is obviously the best quality silk. The fabric is soft, warm, and smooth, with a hint of strength and tenacity. There is no extra fat. You can imagine that it must be healthy underneath. Color. Xin Yan cherished love and compassion more and more, so that he didn't dare to use force, but gently clasped it with one hand, like a ruler measuring the waist. Although he knew that even with Antiop's power, he couldn't hurt his aunt in the slightest. 
Women's waists are generally untouchable, and the perception here is sometimes more acute than the so called feet. After all, both up and down are extremely important places. Shi Young held Aunt Diana's waist lightly, without any other actions, or it was enough for now. This has been a big step forward than before. Shi Nian could feel her aunt's body trembling slightly, and she suddenly let go. It turned out that she was not so nervous and careful by herself. Auntie, this crown. Shi Nian seemed to think of something, and took out the starlight flying diadem in his arms. Leave it with you first. Diana whispered, you need it now. Okay, I will take good care of it. Shi Nian nodded his head, and after the afternoon's battle, he no longer resisted. If even he himself thinks he cannot bear the crown, how can he convince the Amazons on Paradise Island that he can bear and protect the crown in the future of the ant? This afternoon, actually, I asked Antiop to fight you specially. Diana nodded Shi Nian's forehead with a warm finger, and smiled like a beating, I was on way awakening. Before divine power, I also trained with Antiop. So, I want her to help you train you. Unexpectedly, you won't keep your hands at all. Shi Nian gave a bitter smile, but he also noticed that Antiop had been releasing water. The afternoon was not so much a fight, it was more like a special sparring. Otherwise, with Antiop's strength, he would not be able to get out of two rounds. In the next few days, you will train with Antiop. Diana arranged, you need to master more combat skills. In this way, after you trigger ability, the Lord of the Dependents, you can change it. Good adaptability and ability to control others. It will not accidentally break the window of the house and lose control of the body like before. Okay. Shi Nian sighed, it seems that this relaxing and enjoyable trip has completely gone through. If you behave well, Diana thought for a while, suddenly picked up Shi Nian's hand, got up and left the mattress where she was, walked out of the corridor, and threw a sentence, at night, let you hold it for a while. All right. Shi Nian's eyes lit up suddenly. Suddenly there are goals and motivation. In order to better adapt to the body ability times, in order to obtain the limited time version of the pillow, square root. Then, the next morning, when Shi Nian appeared on the drill field excitedly and full of energy, and voluntarily asked to teach herself, the female general Antiop herself was a little confused. Fuzzy returning to stupid, Antiop still rigorously taught Shi Nian seriously. Swordsmanship, spear throwing, archery, shield shooting, horse riding. Even with the basic training based on human standards, the daylight comes down every day, making Shi Nian tired. You can only heal your body and mind by holding a pillow that feels great at night. That's all. Three days passed quickly. The last day of Diana and Shi Nian on Paradise Island finally arrived. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel.